I chose HPS because when I found this master I realized that it combined the things I had already secretly found interesting in my scientific endeavors before. It was uh, especially the background of science, the building up to uh, breakthroughs or discoveries that I'd always found fascinating. And now I found a program that focused exactly on things like that. What surprised me most in the HPS program is the uh, motivation I found with the group of students from working together. When I was studying something I was intrinsically less motivated for, I was <laughs> struggling to make 40 hours a week and in HPS it became quite easy to be working, uh, especially the first semester, working uh, long days. What I would like to do in the future and what I've learned in this master is that I really enjoy being in environments like this with old books or in museums, collections. So what I will do when I graduate is look for jobs that are in places like libraries, museums or institutions that hold collections. Coming from chemistry, I didn't really know how to write an essay. I hadn't done that before. So in the beginning of the program, I was kind of struggling with that. But I caught up quickly and now I really feel confident in my writing. In the history of science, I like to look for the stories that haven't been told before and the people that haven't taken up center stage. The history of science program has made me in a way lose faith in science because it made it seem like a more, much more nuanced and much less solid institution than I thought it was. Before I saw it as a very solid way of finding factual knowledge and now I see it as the best thing we have for saying meaningful things about the world. This is not the type of study where one should expect to fit into some predetermined mold you have access to a wide range of facility and teachers and experts and you really have the opportunity to sort of develop your own mold. So I worked in the tech industry for a couple of years and I really got confronted there with the relationship between science and policy and the underlying ideals of what science is supposed to do and supposed to be um, was very pervasive. One of the most significant things I think I learned is to be able to look at a variety of disciplines and figure out their underlying systems of thought. I found that uh, complex systems theory, especially from a philosophy of science perspective, really posed as a sort of universal language to describe at least all these different things that I was seeing. So I'm really interested in how to synthesize all these things that I was learning. So what really surprised me is that everybody here is really approachable from the teachers to the professors to any faculty member really. My background is in uh, physics. I realized that I was more interested in thinking about physics in some sense than uh, really doing physics uh, and I was also I got very interested in the context in which science is done, what does science mean for society, how should we go about this, especially in recent times where maybe that has been a topic of uh, public debate, you could say, or political debate even. I think the general atmosphere between HPS students is great. I think I had a sense of community fairly right at the beginning. Uh, people come from various disciplines, various life experiences if you, if you want. And so even when there's a conversation, like people bring in different Opinions from different sides, but it's usually very balanced. And I think in general, they're very, very nice people, staff alike, actually. One of the things I learned at HPS is to read 
So from which perspective do you read the text? Like who wrote it? How should I understand it? Instead of just reading it, but that's different. I was maybe surprised by the scope of the discussion and how thorough the philosophical debates are. Never realized beforehand that the discussion of the foundation of quantum mechanics was so plural and, uh, and so diverse in, in topics, but also in positions. So I've done courses on philosophy of biology, I've done courses on Bayesian epistemology, but also on investigative journalism and of course on foundations of physics. But I think if I had to pick one, then it probably wouldn't be a course, it would be the seminars. Because in the seminars you get someone presenting a paper that you've read beforehand, that you can discuss, you, you really interact with the people that even also wrote this. So I think that was for me the most exciting part. The authority of science in society is no longer self-evident. Experts are no longer trusted automatically, which is quite understandable because science has many advantages, but also disadvantages. Well, this requires us to have people who are able to look at science very critically, to know how it works and how it does not work, how it works in society. This is exactly what we aim to do in our program, the History and Philosophy of Science program, HBS for short. We teach students how to look critically at science. We study the past, but we do it for the future. Because in their future careers, we hope that our graduates will be able to advise policymakers and educators and journalists to look critically at science, to deal with it, both with its advantages, but also with its disadvantages.